Hey, it's Rich back with you for another video. Today, uh, we're gonna do a video checking uh, a repair that we made on a Citation Mustang nose wheel for the nose wheel shimmy, which is a problem we've seen uh, more recently happening to several airplanes. So this airplane came in with, uh, with nose wheel shimmy. We did some repairs uh, to a seal. We disassembled the nose wheel. We did some lubrication, pretty, pretty minor to try to fix the problem because if you have to replace the nose wheel shimmy dampener on this airplane, it's about a $30,000 part. So again, what we did probably in the range of $2,000 to try to address the problem. We're gonna go fly it and we're gonna do three landings using different braking, uh, low, medium, and, and high pressure on the brakes to see if we can get it to duplicate or to see if we fix the problem. So we're gonna take you along and uh, let you know how it goes. Okay, so on this first landing, I'm going to use uh, minimum braking, and then the next one we'll use uh, we'll use uh, medium, then we'll use maximum braking on the uh, final landing, and see if we can get uh, any. Any nose wheel shimmy. On either one of them. And if we're expecting nose wheel shimmy, it would be on the, the maximum braking. But let's see. So that was light braking and uh, no, I'd say normal touchdown right at ref and no, no, uh, no shimmy seemed normal. So this next time I'll get on the brakes a little harder, uh, not maximum braking, but just a little harder than I did there and see if we can get it to, to do anything on, uh, on medium braking. Okay, a little heavier braking this time. Gears down, three green, flaps are land. Five hundred. Hold on the pad. Hold on the pad. So that was what I would consider, you know, medium to heavy braking, and uh, did just fine. No, no indication of any nose wheel shimmy at all. So this last one we'll do. Uh, I'll just do maximum braking. The Mustang has anti-skid brakes, so if, you know you can push them all the way to the stops, and uh, it's going to keep you keep you from uh, locking anything up if the anti-skid is functioning properly. And you know, incidentally, the Mustang has great brakes. It's one of the real strengths of the airplane. I mean, you can really get down somewhere on these brakes, and uh, and they, and they they just do a really good job.
traffic, 11 o'clock, high, one mile. I'm sorry, I'm taking a phone here, runway 26 left, clear for the option. Runway 26 left, clear for the option, 8616 of Home Sierra. Three green flaps are land. Charles, Colonel Summer 3003. Nothing. Citation 05 Delta, State parking. Going back to OCR Aviation, and we'll get off at Delta 4, 05 Delta. Delta, contact ground. Roger. Delta, right Okay, we're back in the hangar now. Uh, we did three landings with different braking pressure. We couldn't get the nose wheel shimmy to occur on this airplane after our little uh, minor repair. That's a good thing. Um, it doesn't account for cold soaked airplane that's up at altitude for two and a half hours, comes down and lands and then we get the nose wheel shimmy. But we'll do an update video on, on that as we get more experience in the field. But for the time being, our roughly $2,000 uh, fix worked versus a $30,000 nose wheel uh, shimmy dampener. So uh, anyway, stay tuned for more videos on the nose wheel shimmy issue with the Mustangs. Thanks for watching.